Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. Today we are installing the latest E10G30-T2 in a RS1221 RP+. And on top of that, we will also be installing the 16 gig RAM. So you can see from here, there are actually two additional accessories that we'll be installing inside the RS1221 RP+. Right. So before we proceed, we have to remove a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to remove the cover. After which, there will be an additional screw which we need to remove from the back to have access to the PCI slot. Let me show you how to gain access into the RS1221 RP Plus mainboard to install the engine cut. Okay, as you can see from my previous video, you can also uh, backward compatible the 10G card. Doesn't mean it's a 10G card, you can't use it with 1G. You still can use it with the 1G. It will still work, so do not worry. Then you can update your switch to 10G as you progress with your network installation. Okay, so all you have to do is just slide it backwards. Okay, once that's done, lift it up. Put the cover aside. So over here by itself, originally it has a 4 gig RAM. Okay, I'll be adding an additional 16 gig RAM to increase it up to 20 GB. Now, don't forget the RAMs are all ECC RAMs, all right? Remember to buy original Synology RAM. It comes with five years warranty, similarly for the NIC cards. Now, prior to having access to the PCI slot, the PCI slot, okay, you need to remove this additional panel or else you do not have access to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove, unscrew out the cache, keep the screws, okay? You're going to need it later, okay? Pull out the secure tab, okay? After which, slide out the original cover, put it aside and prep the card, all right? All you have to do is, of course, avoid touching all the components, all right? All you have to do is just attach it slowly okay push it in okay you will hear a slight sound after which attach the catch okay screw in to secure the catch and make sure it's secure and you can have access to the RG45 connectors and it's done. All right, so this is how the card is being installed in the RS1221 RP+. This particular model is a redundant power. So the powers are actually, be the PSU is actually below the main board of the NES. Okay, next, we're gonna install the RAM. Okay. So all you have to do is remove out the cover and gently pop up the RAM. Okay, do take note of the edges for the RAM connectors, all right? So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop out the RAM, okay? So as we can see here, this is the 16 GB RAM, right? Do not insert it this way, as it's the wrong way. You need to flip it over with the label facing downwards of the motherboard, okay? And after which, at a certain angle, slide it in, okay? And there's a catch. You push it in, you hear two ticks, and that's it. And this is to prepare the NAS for it to handle upwards of 100 terabytes of storage. Okay. If you have any questions, please feel free to write in the comments or like our video and subscribe to our channel. If there's anything that you want to watch, please let us know. We'll try our best to cater to your needs. Thank you very much.